In the case of someone having, let's say, a less than ideal relationship with maybe their parent or parents, mm. how could someone be sure not to just go ahead and pass that same area of brokenness along to their kids? Mm. Well, that's kind of the work I do as a counselor. Yep. I mean, that's kind of my bread and butter. There's a lot of that, you know, um, every day in the office. You're just history, origin is always kind of coming into focus in terms of the present, the future. So um, awareness. Yeah, awareness is definitely. I mean, people ask me, should everybody go to counseling? Everybody go to counseling? And I always say everybody should live an examined life. So most of the time you, like need, you need to... You need help to do the examination. Mm -hmm. And so whatever that is for you, a pastor, a counselor, a coach, a friend that's really intentional. So seek to live an examined life. And part of the examination is being aware of your history, you know. And and so, you know, I do a lot of story work with people, a lot of, you know, outlining their story, understanding their past. Um, and... Uh, bringing up things maybe they've never talked about or seeing things in a new light. So opening yourself up to that, that actually can help a great deal in the proper filtering of your history into your present. Cause it all is going to come. You, you, you're going to, it's going to influence your present and that you shouldn't apologize for that. That's uniquely what you have to give to your kids. But what you want to do is not necessarily reproduce some of the trauma, the distortions, you know, the sin. Um, and that was part of your upbringing into their life. And that, I think that the work of God in that examination process, you know, through a, through a helper can really can help do that, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, and, and our kids are particularly powerful reflections to us of what's still lingering in there. They, they yeah. have a way of just, kind of being themselves and reflecting that back to us. Kind of like, did you just catch yourself being like your dad or your mom? They don't actually say that, but in our struggle with them, sometimes we see that. And, you know, shame is a deal killer. Like if we feel shame about our history or what's happened to us, there's still work that needs to be done. Grief is different. Grief actually is more productive. It gets you into a place where you can really grow and learn immature but shame really gets you stuck and you actually end up reproducing you know um, a lot of that stuff in your life when it when you're just stuck in shame and again that's I think you know sometimes that requires some intentionality to really dislodge and address and you know move past so um, but I mean I also, you know, I think it's important that our kids have a sense of history, that they come from somewhere, that they know us and our parents and our grandparents. I mean, there's that's just really rich. Mm -hmm. And um, and so it's like it kind of helps them understand, like, who they are in the world and how they got here and, you know, what they're carrying forward, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's not it's not something to hide from in the past. It's something to be aware of and examine, you know. Yep. Anything else you want to ask on this point? Um, no, not not any question that come to mind right now. Mm -hmm. um, that's really good. Mm. That's really good. I feel like I've done a lot of work in the past couple years with with that, mm -hmm. just kind of personally. Yeah. Um, and I see a lot of things still coming through. Yeah. You know that I really know that still need to be worked on, mm -hmm. you know, but I think I'm aware of it. And I think awareness is huge. One of the first steps. Yeah. Um, and, and to like your, your, your kids being, eventually you'll be able to connect dots for them and speak very directly to things, but like showing them and speaking very specifically about how God's been at work in these areas of your life. Mm -hmm. Because ultimately what you want them to do is know Jesus. Mm -hmm. And one of the ways that they come to know Jesus is in our weaknesses and our deficiencies. Mm -hmm. That's what Paul says, right? When we are weak, he is strong. His grace is more than sufficient. 
and our powerlessness. And so sometimes when our histories make us feel that way or we feel that way in those places where we feel stuck, that's a really powerful place to allow the truth of the gospel to come shining through in its most compelling way. Yeah. 